I'm going to show you how to build V-flats, or how I've built V-flats, in my uh, apartment studio. First thing you want to do is get your supplies ready. You need to lay down a piece of cardboard because you're going to make a mess. You want to protect your floor in some way. Yeah, I've got three inch gaff tape, three inch in both white and black, two inch black gaff tape, a Stanley knife, a sharp one's going to go do you wonders, some A clamps, some pieces of cardboard, and photo mount. Very important, you get photo mount. You want to mark with a pen along the short edge, the four foot edge. You're going to lay out your tape on the back, four foot long. Use your markers that you've positioned before, and you're going to cut it just about at two inches on each side. So about four foot, two inches long. Once you've got your four foot piece, you're going to spray photo mount all the way along the top of it. There you go. Then your friend is going to position the VFAT visually along the middle, the center of the strip of tape on one edge first, and then you're going to come on the other side and cantilever it carefully down visually. There we go. Now there's tape kind of about three quarters of an inch on this side, three quarters of an inch on this side. Then you want to cut about three quarters of an inch from this edge of the V-flat. Just a straight line, hold it tight and cut across. And then you take the knife and diagonally cut to this corner and to this corner so that like a Christmas present, you can put the black Wrap it around here, and this bit goes around there, and the same here. You fold the edges over. We'll show you that again. There we go. You see, we haven't got the edges exactly correct in terms of how wide they are, but it doesn't matter. Cut diagonal there, diagonal there. Take this bit, fold it up, fold that in, the same on both sides. You get a really nice, neat edge. Then you want to take the strip of tape as it's lying down and just pull it up in about five inch increments. Just grab it and pull it up against the bottom of the V-flat all the way along. And then just kind of pull it up. You're going to end up with an edge that looks somewhat like this, a little bit ruffled. You're going to wipe your thumb against this edge first and then move that tape and smooth it out all the way along the edge of the V-flat. Do this all the way down. It's a bit finicky, but to have some patience. So you're going to end up with a black edge on that end and a black edge on that end. Then go ahead and lay out eight foot strips of black two inch gaff on their back and go ahead and spray them with photo mount all the way along. Now you'll have two V flats with the edges, the short edges on both the four foot edges finished with tape. And you're going to see, you need to put them so that two black sides are touching each other close together because you'll want to put the black gaff tape only along one edge of each of these V-flats. In this case, we're going to tape the bottom of both of these. So Matt, show again the second V-flat behind. There you go. So the black sides are touching each other and we're going to do the bottoms here of both of these, the long edge. Same idea. We're going to match visually halfway along the tape. Matt's going to place it down and we're going to lever it all onto here. And again, the same cut here and in a triangle shape here. You'll end up with a piece that you can just flip up, fold over, fold over, fold up, fold across, and the same thing on the other side. Very tricky to do while you're holding a camera. 
there we go. Now you're going to have two V flats with the top edges taped, the short edges taped, and two edges untaped. You're going to clamp the two V flats together on the untaped edge like this. Use cardboard to stop it from getting unnecessarily dinged at this point. And we're going to do that on both ends. Now you're going to lay out your eight foot, three inch white. This is the first time we're using white gaff tape and then spray it the same as we did with the other. Then you're going to tape the two blacks together so that the whites are on the outside, like so on both sides. And then you're going to place it visually down on one corner in the middle of the three inch white gaff and do that along the whole length of it. You're going to take off, go ahead and take off your padding. This is a bit of a mess, but don't worry about it. We're going to give it a little bit more room to about here. You want to have about an inch and a quarter. Cut a straight line. And again, those diagonal cuts, they don't have to be so pretty. Bring that middle bit up. And you're going to cut that through the middle like that. Otherwise, you won't be able to open your V-flat. And again, fold it around. And we're going to tidy this up later with black tape because that against the black doesn't look so good. And again, you're going to fold up those wings, bring them across both sides. You can make this neater, but I just cut down the middle there so that it opens. Then you're going to struggle to turn it around. Or do it quite heroically out. There we go. And then you're going to see that this tape is all kind of weird and like snaking along. What you're going to do is just roll it over so it's in the middle because then you're going to get a nice even fit when you put the black gaff on it. You're going to do that all the way down. You'll want to repeat the whole process now with the three inch black gaff. And with the black side outside on both sides and the white tape together, you're going to place it as before, visually in the center of the tape. And there she is. Story time. Beautiful V flat with the black edges on the white side. Gives it a little bit of a design feel. And look how beautiful matte looks in there. Oh yes. Thanks for watching guys. If you found this helpful, please don't forget to subscribe. I'll post more stuff like this, more instructional videos as time goes on. Cheers.